Welcome, let us solve this question on linear motion. It reads, two towns A and B are 80 kilometers apart. James started cycling from town A to B at 10 a.m. at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Motuko started his journey from town B to A at 10.30 a.m. and traveled by car at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Calculate 1, the distance from A when James and Motuko met. Uh, the second question, time of the day when the two met. The third question, Kimeli started cycling from town A to B at 10.21 a.m. He met Motuko at the same time as James did. Determine Kimeli's average speed. So those are the three questions. So let's go to the first one. The distance from A when James and Motuko met. So let's begin by drawing. Uh, diagram here is just an arrow so that one represents that one represents uh, James so James started so this is James he started the journey at 10 a.m. and this, this is uh, a and this is turn B. The speed, the speed uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Then Motuko, Motuko was moving in the opposite direction. So this is B, this is A. So this is Motuko, who was uh, traveling at 60 kilometers per hour, started the journey at 10.30 a.m. Don't forget the distance between, the distance between these two towns is... That is the distance between A and B is given as 80 kilometers. That is the distance between the two. This is A and that is B. So, the first thing we're going to do is to get the distance covered by James in 30 minutes. You realize, looking at the diagram, James started the journey at 10 a.m., whereas Motuko started the journey at 10.30 a.m. So, James had traveled 30 minutes before Motuko began the journey. So, the first thing is to get the distance, the distance by James in 30 minutes and distance is given by speed times time in this case the speed 40 kilometers per hour is half an hour so he had traveled for 20 kilometers so this is the distance James traveled in 30 minutes before Motuko began the journey. Now, distance between them, distance between them, between them at 10.30, M therefore is, the, the whole distance from A to B is 80 kilometers then subtract uh, the distance covered by James and this gives now the distance separating them by 1030 is 60 kilometer. The other thing we need to get uh, since we are required to get the distance from A when James and Motuko met we need to find time you find time 
time both used to meet. This will be given by distance over the speed. So in this case, we are going to use uh, relative speed relative speed to get the time used to meet and relative speed will be given by the speed of James which is uh, 40 plus the speed of Motuko which is 60 and this is um, kilometers per hour so this one gives 100 kilometers per hour and therefore um, to get time that they used to meet, we are going to use the distance, the distance between them, which is 60 kilometers, divided by relative speed. We have added the speed since they are moving in opposite direction. So to get relative speed, we do add the speed of the two. So this will be given by 100 kilometers per hour. So when you divide 60 by 100, you get 3 over 5 hours. So that is what you get. Now we have not answered the question. So we need to answer the question. So what you're going to do is to now get the time traveled, uh, the distance traveled in three over five hours. So let me create more space for the question. Create more space. So after getting uh, the time that they used to Made, that is 3 uh, over 5 hours, we need to get in 3, in 3 over 5 hours, James had traveled the distance. Of course, we get this on by, this distance equals to speed times time. And this will be given by the speed, this is a 40 kilometers per hour, the speed of James, times the time is 3 over 5 hours and these uh, when you multiply these 40 this will give you 24 kilometers so 24 kilometers is the distance that was traveled by James in 3 over 5 hours therefore distance distance from A to uh, to meeting point which is the question remember in 30 minutes uh, James had traveled uh, 20 kilometers then before they met um, he traveled another 24 kilometers what we have got by getting the time they used to meet 3 over 5 so in this time uh, that James used in order to meet he traveled uh, he had traveled 24 kilometers so the total distance from A to the meeting point that is where James and Motuko met will therefore be given by 20 plus 24 which will give 44 kilometers so that is the solution for that part now let's go to the other part time of the day when the two met go to time of the day when the two met Now to get the time for the day the two met, uh, we are going to uh, get the time. We have already got the time. Time used to meet. We have got that one as 3 over 5 hours. We can convert this one into minutes and this one is equivalent to 36 minutes. So therefore, to get the time they used to meet, we can use the, the time Motuko began the journey, that is 
a.m. Then we add the time that was used in order for them to meet, which is 36 minutes. And when we add this, this one will give a um, solution of uh, 11.06 a.m. So that one is as simple as that. Then the other question, Kimeli is another person who started cycling from town A to B at 10.21. He met Motuko at the same time as James did, determine Kimeli's average speed. So, here is another person called Kimeli. That is A, that is uh, B. So this one started um, from town A at 10.21 a.m. And um, he met Motuko at the, at the same time James did. So we can, this is the meeting point. So meeting point. So that is the meeting point. And of course, we know the time the two met. They met at 11.06 a.m. So we are required to get um, Kimeli's average speed. Remember, speed will be obtained by distance over the speed. Now, this is um, speed is obtained by distance over the time taken. The time taken. So we need to get the distance this distance distance from a to the meeting point distance from a to the meeting point and we already got that we already got that distance from a to the meeting point it was our first solution so distance so distance from a to the meeting point the meeting point is 44 kilometers we got that uh, in our first part then the other thing we need to get is time time and this one will be again very easy kimeli started at 10 21 and uh, arrived at the meeting point that is uh, 11 at the same time that is 11 6 so we just need to get this difference 11.06 a.m. We subtract 10.21 a.m. And this gives um, around 45 minutes, which is uh, also equivalent to three quarters of an hour. Now we have uh, everything now, therefore, the average speed. The average speed will be obtained by distance, that is a 44 kilometers, divided by the time, which is 3 over 4 hours, which will be given by 44 times 4 over 3. And these, uh, when you multiply these, 44 times 4 over 3, it gives 58 and 2 thirds kilometers per hour and that is how you're supposed to uh, do that question on linear motion